Day. Wealth and power comes only from loyalty to the corporation. Calacoita CED CEO Maita Sabasaki. All right, we're going to Mar. Our mighty empire is built upon our faith in the creator and loyalty to the throne, Emperor Demos the Third. Minotaur, Minotaur, Minotaur. I don't know how to pronounce it. We, I don't have an idiom to be honest, but uh, we will free all our people from the bonds of slavery to fight. For anything less is to betray the Republic. Captain Carshaw Morator. The Federation is a beacon of democracy and liberty in the chaos of the New Eden. President Adenus Elabon. Okay, so who do I want to go for? I'm baiting between these two. I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Mega. Megatron, 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 an armor battleship that is the mainstay of Gallant combat fleets. So this game's called Eve. Uh, thought I'd give it a try. I've never uh, played it before, so. Emicus, a specialized refrigerator frigate designed for scouting and exploration. Okay. Malus, a high tech frigate designed to disrupt the electronic system and weapons on other ships. Velator, a new pilot's first ship which can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration duties. Okay, let's see what the defense office and defense is about. Gallant Federation technology. We specialize in close range combat so that we can defeat our enemies before they have the chance to escape, which the right training. A gallant pilot will be able to fly any ship regardless of the craft's empire affiliation. Blaster weapons and drones. Short range high damage blasters can rip through shields and armor with the help of our smart drones. Armor tank using heavy armor to our advantage. Our fleet focuses on rapid armor repair. Gallant Federation. The Gallant Federation represents hundreds of diverse peoples united by the ideals of freedom and democracy. The pursuit of innovative technologies contributes to the most advanced economy in all of New Eden. Our powerful fleet guards our worlds from tyranny. The relentless hunger of Caldery 
mega corporations puts them at clear odds with the Federation's principles, resulting in years of bloody conflict. We will not stand idly by as their policies violate the rights and liberties of individuals in rightful gallant space. After splintering from a once respected gallant research corporation, their serpentus amassed wealth and power by engaging in illegal narcotics manufacturing their alliance with other criminal enterprises makes them a formidable foe for the Federation Navy okay should I go through all of these maybe just to get a better idea of what I'm playing Pro. Hey, this is the Min Minmatar origin. A specialized fry gate designed for scouting and exploration. Temptus, a powerful, flexible pa battleship commonly seen in Minmatar. Minmatar combat fleets. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, let me know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Vigil, a high tech fry gate designed to disrupt electronic systems and weapons and other ships. The Reaper, a new pilot's first ship which can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration. Cool. Oh shit, you can't see this over here. Alright. You have a weapon? Mimitar Republic technology for offense and defense. We use hit and run tactics to fight when outnumbered. Our vessels are fast and light, allowing us to effectively control engagements. When properly trained, our pilots are capable of flying any ship in the cluster, regardless of its originating empire. So I guess that's saying they can you can fly other ships too if you yours goes down. Our projectile weapons can use a wide range of ammunition with both high damage, long range artillery, and rapid firing short range autocannons. Active shield tanking allows us to rapidly return to battle while maintaining speed and agility. Hmm. Okay. Mimitar Republic. After centuries of sub. Subjection, I guess. Subjection. Sub. Sub. Subjugation. Subjudication. We rose up and cast off our slave. Slavers' shackles. The proudly rebuilt nation of Matar will free every soul till still enslaved across the cluster. Together we will forge our own destiny at home and among the stars. Empire enemy. The Mar must return our people to us. There will be no peace between our empires until the last Militar brother or sister held in slavery is released. We will never allow the Mar to conquer us again, even if it means to struggle to the death. The Angel Cartel is a dangerous and unpredicted foe. Heavily involved in human trafficking, slavery, and the drug trade, their criminal acts represent a clear betrayal of the Matari people and our way of life. We will make them rue the day they crossed the Republic fleet. Mar. Start with the ships. The Apocalypse, a well armored battleship that forms the basis of most combat fleets. A specialized fry gate designed for scouting exploration is called the Magnate. The Stower, a cargo vessel used to transfer, transport large volumes of goods across the universe. 
Emperor, a new pilot's first ship which can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration duties. Crucifier, a high tech hull designed to disrupt the electronic systems and weapons on other ships. Pretty cool. Amar Weapon Technology. The Amar Empire's fleet is renowned across the New Eden for our weapons efficiency and impressive armor. With the proper skills training, our capable pilots can fly any ship, even those not of Amar design. Energy weapons. Our energy weapons deliver punishing firepower while avoiding delays caused by frequent reloading. Armor tank. Modules designed to increase armor durability have made our fleet the most well armored in the cluster. We are the chosen people tasked to reclaim the universe in the name of God. Through the ages of holy empires, might and power has been held by our faith and obedience to the imperial throne. As our empress commands, we shall spread the glory of Amar across the stars. The Mim Mimitar Republic denied the blessing of their holy servitude with their rebellion against the empire. We will restore the natural order of the universe by crushing their leaders, reclaiming the stars they occupy, and returning their misguided followers to their rightful place. So, according to them, they want to just enslave everybody. That's what they want to do. It's right. So, don't like them. But anyway, tainted by the heresy uh, and sin, the Blood Raider Covenant shall race the righteous judgment or the one true Lord, the might of the Mar faith, and the only weapon powerful enough to end their twisted blood rituals once and for all and that is the, their pirate enemy the blood raiders and the empire enemies the men okay the Kaldari Kaldari state state corporation family those are the three guiding pillars of the Kaldari state the prize we prize hard work sharp minds and honorable conduct above all through loyal service to our corporation we gain wealth for our people and merit for ourselves so they're against the gallant the gallant have unlawfully occupied our home world of Kaldari prime we defy their occupation and we will defend our settlements to the death while we prefer trade over war the gallant colonies meddling has left us with no choice but to engage in conflict founded by the deserters of the Caldari Navy the Gerstas are nothing more than traitors to the state they're dealing with the black market and human trafficking solely honorable dairy trade with violence and greed hmm. uh, I think I'm still torn between these two So, what do we want to do here? I'm thinking, I'm 
Okay. Galantines value freedom and an individual liberty above all else. Founders of only true democracy and our new Eden. They have created an ethically diverse, culturally rich, progressive society. I think I'm going with this bloodline. Let's see how well that goes. Okay. So. Okay, complexion, that's good. As
think that set up pretty good. Let's see. Some myself. brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one of the machine? To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars? To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals? Or... To prove your worth in combat, cementing new alliances, and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer training program, you become the architect of your own destiny. Uh, sorry, I had to throw my headphones on. Pretty cool. It's really cool. Greetings, Captain. I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. I am now transferring your pod into a ship, provided by air, as part of your capsule. Captain, an unidentified communicate. Vectoring escape route. Evacuation sequence initiated. That's crazy. Station hull integrity compromised. Captain, this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank me. Okay. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. I'm unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but, like all capsules, it is unarmed. A proper ship comes with proper weaponry. We must scan the debris for a space-worthy vessel. 
hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse around to rotate the camera. Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. There is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. Click the hell out of the ship. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. In the selected item window, click the approach command. That's pretty cool. But y'all can't see because my head's in the way. Board the Estero now. Let's change that to that. That should be much better. Okay. So now we're boarding the Estero. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. Let me make this smaller now. I hope y'all don't see it in the game more. Okay, so. Next. The armor is also in need of repair. Armor depleted. So there's no armor, so. Okay. Next. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is we're screwed. <laughs> Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. My gone. With emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity. Select Balin ship in the overview. Click approach. Select approach. Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked, and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on this technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. Now arrived 
arrived at Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. The cosmic storm likes to play with our sensors, so it could be nothing. But after that attack, I'm not taking any chances. Initiating scan of unidentified signal. Captain, hostiles inbound. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. My sensors indicate that these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. This will be your first combat experience so as a cantilier. Time to show the... Too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Activate the afterburner module highlighted on your display. My database of ancient idioms contains a phrase appropriate to our situation. Drive it like you stole it. We're now within range. Lock your target. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where it hurts. Fire at will, Captain. Make sure to use both of your guns. That's it, Captain. Let them have it.
such a glorious experience, especially when you're winning. Another hostile ship incoming, a cruiser this time. It's larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat abilities. That cruiser is traveling fast. At its current speed, Welcome back to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you.
Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. Sweet. I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Try not to blow this one up so quickly, but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. I will enable your station services panel so that you may try not to blow this one up so quickly, but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect pilot for the job. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Captain, you can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked from your item hangar. Let's take a look at a mining laser upgrade. A curious choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal at one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. We want you to investigate the signal, but if we're being watched, and I suspect we are, we don't want anyone to know we're onto them. You'll look just like another member of the mining fleet. Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. Okay. Let's fit your new module in a free slot. online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising, you still have much to learn. Now, access the skill window from the Neocon. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden, as they serve as the primary okay, measurement so of one's skills. growth. Training a new skill takes time, as the neural pathways of your brain are rewired. The complexity of this rewiring can be measured through skill points. You have enough unallocated skill points to train the required skill. Do so now.
Okay, I don't know where that goes, so. Maybe we'll learn. Soon. But let's go back to the skills. So, skills. Now, all you have to do is confirm that you wish to use those skill points. The training required for your new module is complete. Your skill queue is now empty. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. We wouldn't want you to fall behind your peers, would we? The more skills you acquire, the stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. Okay. Now, close the windows crowding your screen. It would be rather comical if you failed to see a threat hurtling right towards us because of an untidy display. Let us online your mining laser upgrade, now that you have the necessary skill to use it. You can do this from the fitting window. Turn the module online. Well done, Captain. You can now close the fitting window. Looks like you're ready to roll, Captain. Our agent will rendezvous with you at the mining site. Miss Calatrix is right. Time is of the essence. I suspect something nefarious might be occurring at the air mining site. Undock from the station so we can begin our journey there. Uh, I'm about to have to pause. Yeah, let me pause real fast. Alright, I'm back. I had to, um, I had to go start Let some chicken. And walk to the site immediately. Warp drive active. Fair's mining operation is rather impressive for such a young corporation. They must be remarkably well funded. It is little wonder that Miss Calatrix would suspect espionage. Further speculation will have to wait. We're being hailed by that orca. You must be the fresh meat Vesper told me to expect. Elias Peltonen's a name, mining's a game. But you're not just here to mine, are you? We're here to assist in any way we can with locating the source of the unusual signal you've intercepted. Unusual is one way of putting it. Pain in my ass is another. The signal's bouncing around these asteroids like a fetto hopped up on a bad booster. Can't get a lock on its source with all these rocks in the way. Miss Calatrix has outfitted us with a mining laser upgrade. That should clear several of those rocks away. 
Good old Vesper, always ten steps ahead. Now, let's put that bad boy to use. Best way to blend in is by getting your hands dirty with the crew. Some miners fly solo, but a project this big isn't exactly a one-man show. Sometimes the only way to get shit done is with a fleet. I bet this is the first time you mined with a crew. No offense or anything, you just got that shiny new pod smell on you. Follow my lead and you'll be mining like a... If your competence matches your confidence, we are in good hands indeed, Mr. Pell. Please, call me Elias. Mr. Pelton it makes me feel like an old man. My old man, specifically. <laughs> Miserable son of a bitch. Just about spat in my face when I left his crusty old Caldari corp to make my own way. Sincerest apologies, Elias. Our first name basis shall commence immediately. Good. I like to keep things informal here. It keeps morale up. This crew's full of people like me, following the siren song of sweet, sweet independence. Doesn't hurt that the money is good, too. Captain, we're now within range of the asteroid. We should stop here. Now is the time to activate your minor module, Captain. The length of the module's activity, most commonly known as a mining cycle, will impact the amount of ore you collect. For now... There's something spectacular about a fresh asteroid, isn't there? Play your cards right and that giant hunk of rock becomes a giant pile of riches. You can view your very own pile of rocks, as Elias puts it, in your cargo hold. It's actually ore, not rocks. But I assume Elias is resorting to basic linguistic wordplay. A very human tendency. It might not look like much, but that's not just a pile of ore. It's a pile of possibilities. You can sell it, refine it, trade it. The choice is yours. Now, time to quit ogling your inventory. This asked. <laughs> Harvesting resources is one of the best ways to earn money in New Eden. And if you're gonna make it as a capsuleer, the one thing you gotta know is that money is king. Hell, with enough isk, you'll be able to buy yourself a sweet ride like that venture over there. That's one down. And now, on to the next. Follow me, Captain, and stick close. This asteroid field can be a bitch to nap. You better hustle, or my guys will drain that asteroid dry before you get there. If you've got an afterburner, now's the time. Now close enough to target the asteroid. Once it's targeted, lock on. Just like that last asteroid. Once you've got your target in your sights, it's showtime. <laughs> Looks like you're a natural at this. Keep it up, and Vesper will be offering you my job soon. Elias, are there any words of wisdom you find particularly valuable for new miners? Oh, man, where to start? First off, you gotta know the difference between raw ore and refined minerals. What we're doing right now is mining ore in its raw state. 
For someone just learning the ropes, selling that ore is the quickest way to make isk. But you can also reprocess ore into minerals. Take Tritanium, for example. You can't find that stuff in the wild. You've got to get your hands on some raw ore, like feldspar, and then refine it into Tritanium. You can sell those minerals or use them to build your own ships or equipment. You can find refineries at most stations. Experienced miners get way more efficient yields from their ore. So that's something you can work towards. Another asteroid successfully depleted. We better close in on that rock then. Skill training completed. is exceptionally strong in this location. Let's stop the ship here. Just like that. We can whittle away at this asteroid without damaging whatever's broadcasting that signal. Well, we're not going to get any solid answers all the way over here. Let's move in. Uh, this looks crazy. is strongest in the vicinity of the Dramiel's cargo hold. I do love the feeling of striking gold. Go and grab whatever it is. It appears to be a black box, a device designed to survive the destruction of the vessel carrying it. Such boxes can be used to record vital flight data, but also to store valuable items. That's nice and all, but can you open it? Negative, Elias. Captain, the box is protected by multiple layers of encryption. While it's theoretically possible to hack into such a container, you will need significantly more training in that skill before attempting such a feat. Don't think it's safe to crack it open here anyway. Where there's smoke, there's fire. One scout ship might mean they got friends lurking nearby. If we could trace that signal, so could someone else. Better get the box and whatever's in it back to Vesper. She'll know what to do. Elias is correct, Captain. The box may contain the answers we need to discover why those unidentified ships attacked the cloning facility. And 
why one was spying on this mining site. I don't want you out there alone. I'll send some of my best pilots back with you. Safety in numbers and all that. Wisely stated, Elias. Well-armed company will be most welcome. I do what I can. If someone went to the trouble of protecting whatever's in that box, it must be something valuable. Well, I bet whoever sent that scout ship will be real salty that we got our hands on it. Stay sharp, Captain. Let's dock at the station. I'm certain Vespa is more than eager to see what we've found. Welcome back, Captain. Elias tells me you've brought a gift. Mm -hmm. Indeed we have, Miss Calatrix. And this gift comes wrapped in several layers of complex encryption. I'll pass that box along to our expert hackers. If they can't crack it open, no one can. Thank you for finding it. Air is once again in your debt. Elias also informs me that you're carrying a fair amount of ore. We can take that off your hands in exchange for some isk. Mind if I take a look? Captain, open your ship's cargo hold. In order to sell the ore, you must first transfer it from the cargo hold to your item hanger. Hmm. Man. I feel like it's going like numb or something. <clears throat> Now, let's switch. select the ore to see what you can do with it. In this instance, we want to sell it to Miss Calatrix. Nearly done. That's a nice haul you've got there. I've transferred the ISK to your wallet. I think you'll find I've been more than generous. In your wallet, you can view the total balance of ISK in your possession. Your recent market transactions will show you how much it. The highlighted entry shows how much money you received from air in exchange for the ore. The wallet offers a wealth of information. It provides a convenient location to view your recent transactions, track your market history, or audit your accounts. Whenever an item is sold in New Eden, a tax is applied to that sale. The market entry displays your most recent transaction tax. Once you've finished gazing at your newfound riches, close your wallet and inventory. It's time we turned our attention to a more pressing issue. The mysterious box we discovered at the mining site. Right, here's where I'm going once, to... once you've finished gazing at your newfound riches, close oh, your wallet and yes. invent. Captain, I trust you'll keep quiet. So, hope y'all all enjoyed this. I'm going to uh, exit here. So, thank you for watching.